Here on M5125, we're going to find the volume of a, a silo. So you can probably think that that's not a very regular shape, but you can make these irregular shapes by putting together the shapes we already know. A silo is used to store grain that farm animals eat during the winter months. The top of the silo is a hemisphere, a half sphere, with a radius of eight feet. So they just gave us that. So this right here is eight. The cylindrical body of the silo shares the same radius. So like obviously the circle here is also eight and it has a height of 40 feet. A truck hauling grain to the silo has a rectangular container attached to the back that is eight feet in length, five feet in width, and four feet in height. Determine the number of truckloads of grain required to fill the empty silo. So you can probably already tell that this is a multi-step problem. We're gonna need to find out the volume of the silo, which is a combination of the cylinder and half a sphere. So we'll need to do the, both of those both of those um, volume calculations and add them together to get the total volume. And then we also need to find the volume of the truck. And then we'll be dividing the volume of the silo divided by the volume of the truck. So there's a lot of things to do. So let's start with finding the volume of the silo. Now, I'm gonna be showing you a tool that will greatly cut down the amount of work you need to do. So let's start by just writing out what it is we're doing. So the cylinder is eight by 40. Now you could go through the whole process of putting that into the um, formula and all that sort of stuff, but let me show you something you can do instead. So all I've done is I've gone to Google and typed in volume of a cylinder. So you can see right there, it has for us the volume formula, if you ever forget it, which is great, but this is, I mean, you can tell that Google's trying to help you out. It gives you a way to cal for it to calculate it for you. So all we need to do is put in what the radius was of the silo, which was eight, and the height, which was 40, and Google will do it for you. So now we know that the cylinder portion of the silo is 8,042-ish. So now that we know the volume of the, uh, the cylinder that makes up the silo, we need the volume of the half sphere that's sitting on top. So for our sphere, it has the same radius of eight. So we're gonna need to find that volume and then we'll divide that by two find the volume of the half sphere that makes up the top of the silo, I've just gone to Google and typed in volume of a sphere. Once again, it gives us our formula if we forgot it, but we just are interested in the calculation. So we'll put in that radius, which was eight, and we have that it's 2,144-ish. Now that wasn't what we wanted. We need half of that. So taking half of our 2,144, that is 1,000... 72.33-ish. And then we can just add together the cylinder, the half sphere, and then we'll know the volume of our silo. And I'm getting that the entire thing is 9,114.81-ish. So that's the silo. Now we need the volume of the truck. So the truck is a rectangular prism, something like that. And they told us it was eight feet by five feet by four feet. And we honestly, I mean, we could go back to Google and put all those things in, but honestly, we're just doing four times five times eight. You could use Google if you want to for that, but it's that simple. So four times five times eight is 160 feet cubed. So, I mean, considering the fact that it carries 9,000 and you can only put in 160 each time, it's gonna be several trips. So, but let's, let's find out how many this is. So we need to do the silo divided by the truck. And let's see what that is. So I'm getting, I mean, it's like 56.9, so 57 trips.